How's it going, YouTube? Avia Jeff here. Uh, this is a new series that I'm planning on trying to do once a week. Um, I've kind of made some plans and changing things around. Um, uh, I've been getting really busy lately, um, and a lot of things that I wanted to do. Uh, you know, the Diamonds in the Rough series is just, it's not panning out. I mean, we got people that are wanting to do it, and people are trying to set up, and it's going to work out, but I myself now, I can't really take that much time to do it so I'm gonna to to change things around but I wanted to add something new uh, first off I want to congratulate myself and toot my own horn oh that was a shitty horn Wow um, I actually just hit 500 subscribers the other day which considering I've done like a hundred plus videos that's you know a long time just to get to 500 subscribers so I just want to say a, a quick thank you to everybody all well, let's say 500, and one of them is myself, and so 499 of you that are have watched, you know, you know, watched me from, you know, as long as I've been around. If you can, you're watching these old videos. I know it's hard to watch 100 videos, but I, I do appreciate you guys' comments and your your feedback and just everything that you guys have done for me. I've got to meet a whole lot of cool people and a lot, a lot of not a, not cool people, but. Anyways, I'm just excited to have hit 500. So, uh, this new series, the This Week in the Great Debate, um, is just basically saying, hey, this is what's been going on for like a week. Um, all just a really small, or, you know, it, it maybe this is my little corner of the world because I don't, you know, have everybody on my list. Um, you know, uh, this is just the, the people that I see on a regular basis. Now, if you guys have a moment that you would like to see in on this, uh, please feel free to message me, uh, introduce me to some new people, and you know, so I can really maybe feel some really cool uh, feel. Did anybody just feel some new people? I want to feel some new people. Um, yeah. Anyways, um, just to uh, you know. I don't even know where I was going, so I'm just going to go on. Let's watch that. This is the first uh, bit of the This Week in the Great Debate. This Week in the Great Debate, G-Man will be dropping his new track on May 1st, 2014. And if you're white, that means he's making a new rap song. He promises that it will make his old video look like child's play. Spoiler alert, we're already thinking that. Number 2, FSX23 versus G-Man and Richard Raspberry about evolution. Take a moment and enjoy this little gem from our lovely G-Man. Yeah, uh, DNA, uh, endogenous retroviral remnants that we share with animals that are what you would probably call macro-evolutionarily different than us. Okay, cool. So DNA is your answer. Okay. How long would it take the DNA to turn that particular animal into another? That's not what I said, actually. I said, uh, Mac, Mike, uh, I said endogenous retroviral remnants, but you don't know what those are, but you can just call it DNA, but go ahead. Okay. So I'll go back to my original question. DNA. How long does it take DNA, not DNA but... to, to make one animal become one kind into another kind? A let me, let me is explain not to you what I mean, FSX. Let me explain to you what I mean, because I know these words I'm using are too big. This juicy moment brought to you by Campbell's Chicken Noodle Soup. Because this thing is just as likely to answer your prayers as God is. Number three, Brett Keen. Atheism is bestiality, where Brett Keen shows his lack of understanding for interbreeding of species, the taxonomic ranking system, and bestiality in general. Number four, Matthew Steele releases his new video discussing the likes of Brett Keen. Should we ignore them? Who can we ignore? Who should be involved with the debate and who should not? Now, of course, I could have used any footage of any Matthew Steele video and you wouldn't be able to tell the difference because they all look exactly the fucking same. Number five, G-Man versus Veckel. G-Man is pissed because Veckel was acting like a big meanie head. Number 6. Ancient Papyrus reveals that Jesus Christ may have had a wife. Is it accurate? Well, probably not, because it was dated about the 2nd century AD, so that probably isn't true. 
Number 7. Jason Burns has found himself nipple deep in cyberbullying tactics and he has had enough. He's leaving you two forever. Or at least a few days. Because this is like the second or third time he's done this in a few months. If there's somebody out there and you're calling him up, that's pretty fucked up. Uh, and you just need to stop. Um, but something tells me that this is just more drama. Number 8. Dark Matter 2525 releases a new video of the Moses story and stands the piss poor apologetics of slavery on its head. Folks, this is it. Thank you so much for watching this week in the Great Debate. I'm probably going to have a bit better of a format. Um, I'm really trying to find a video maker program or movie maker program that actually has like split screen. Um, once I can find one, I'll probably be doing it in that manner instead of trying to do the deep movie maker voice. Because um, that really hurts the throat a lot, damn it. Um, um, but if anybody knows right, that is where I can get that, because it can't get on Windows Movie Maker. You could before, but now you can't, and, you know, but anyways, if anybody has, uh, you know, knows a, a Movie Maker program that can do that, please let me know. Um, but, uh, I'll try doing these once a week if I can, you know, uh, at least that's going to be the goal, especially if I, I'm feeling too lazy to make up my own material, might as well just mooch off everybody else. Uh, anyways, it's the Atheist Chef signing off. Peace.